Hey y'all, so I've been seeing this cute mirror all over Instagram and I found it on Amazon.com for $1.99.99 but I'm going to show y'all how I created it for about $30 so if you're curious, just keep on watching. I'm starting off by covering all my wood blocks with my ebony black acrylic paint that I purchased from Michaels but you can also use the black acrylic paint that they have at the Dollar Tree, it's really no difference. I used this Dollar Tree mirror in a previous project and I'm reusing it today and all I'm doing is wiping it off then I'm placing all the blocks down to mimic the Amazon photo. Now that the first row is completed, I'm flipping my mirror over to add the blocks this way since I thought it would be easier and better and plus I didn't want the glue showing through the front and I almost forgot that some of the blocks are not fully painted so some of them I will be turning over. For this step, I'm adding a small amount of glue just to keep my blocks together until I get ready to glue my popsicle sticks down. Now I'm all done gluing my blocks together, which I should have glued my popsicle sticks to the back, but that's okay because you guys will see me do that later. Now I'm using my good old mirror towels and these are self-adhesive, but I'm using a little bit of glue because I do reuse these towels. I'm using those same mirror towels, but these ones are a little bit bigger and to blend them out, I will be gluing a smaller mirror towel down than the bigger mirror towel. For the third row, I'm placing all the bigger tiles down and these are self-adhesive so I will not be using any glue. The mirror tiles added a lot more weight to my wall decor so I'm using these popsicle sticks to make it sturdy and I've been had these popsicle sticks on hand which all I did was paint it one side with my black acrylic paint and then I just cut them down to a smaller size. I'm making sure that the black painted side of the popsicle sticks are facing downwards and once I was done with that step, I removed any excess glue strings, cleaned my mirrors off, and this is how my mirror turned out. Just look at my Amazon inspired wall decor y'all. I think I did a pretty good job, but tell me what y'all think down in the comments. For project number two, I'm making a flower box to go with my wall decor and for this step, I'm just tracing out four squares with my silver sharpie.
I'm using this black acrylic paint that I purchased from the Dollar Tree and initially I had a different idea in mind on what I wanted to do with this. That's why I am only painting the perimeter of the box but then later on you guys will see I fully painted it. So now that my box is all dry and to cover up the edges and the cracks I'll be using my silver beaded necklaces. I'm using those same mirror tiles to decorate my box and I'm just placing them down in a diagonal shape. I'm done placing all my mirror tiles down and I didn't do the back because the back will not be showing and I cleaned all my mirror tiles off and then I added flowers and then I had something that looked like this. This flower box was very quick, easy and simple to complete and I think it goes pretty well with my mirror wall decor. But tell me what y'all think. Please like, comment and share. And if you're curious to see what else I can create, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss my next video.